The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, from the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the home of Wells Fargo Bank in Pennsylvania. Believe it or not, JL, that's what it is. This is where they filmed the Duke and Duke offices back in 1983. The first chart that we're going to look at today comes as a graph from our good friend Bill Meridian from Cycles Research yesterday. And what he is illustrating here is the fact that since 1886, the weakest uh, week of the uh, stock market is coming in uh, upon us. So we want to keep a uh, close eye on that. Also, we have the lunar eclipse and a full moon tomorrow that comes in at 3.05 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. So keep an eye on that. That ought to be, uh, you know, hour before the close. That's always an interesting time. So we'll see uh, see what happens with that. Now, the next chart we're going to start with uh, instead of a graph will be the chart of the German DAX. Uh, and as you can see, we made a low uh, three days ago. Uh, all we've been able to do is make a minor rally and then go sideways. We've done exactly the same thing uh, in the S&P 500. We've done nothing but go sideways uh, after a little bit of a rally. There is a great deal of resistance, in my opinion, at 2129 uh, in the E-mini S&P. So uh, sort of watch that on the downside. Um, you know, the things that we're looking at are below, you know, the level of the, um, hold on just one second here, are below the level of a par. In other words, it's going to go below 2100 uh, if it uh, starts to uh, complete, you know, some of these uh, patterns uh, to the downside. So we'll we'll keep an eye on that as we as we go through this. Now, yesterday, one of the things that we were talking about, of course, was the uh, crude oil market, and we were looking for crude to get somewhere around the uh, 40, uh, 340 level. The actual low that it made was at 43.30, uh, and it's had a little bit of a bounce, but certainly not very much. You know, from that level, it's uh, holding its own, uh, to say to say the least. But it is uh, right near this level of, uh, you know, that we were watching, you know, yesterday, uh, pretty much spot on. If we take a look at this, you'll see that we did hit this spot on. And we're trading in just a little bit, you know, a few hundred dollars uh, above it. Now, what happened last night is what I think is important. And, well, what I, who, who cares what I think? But what I was doing is uh, I had an alert on uh, with the Canadian dollar, and I'll, and I'll show you why. The Canadian dollar and the uh, heating oil have a really strong correlation, folks. It's in the neighborhood of about 85%. And as you can see here, over the last two days, you, you'll notice that we had a very nice three drive to a bottom pat. Let's try it again. Three drive to a top pattern. Uh, the first swing went exactly to 1.27. And then you see this is when we were on the air yesterday. Uh, we had the big break where it dropped uh, almost $800. It made our first profit objective. And then it went all the way up to a 1.27 expansion of that move and a 1.618 expansion of the previous move. And you'll notice the symmetries between the high. That really defines a three drive pattern. So, and since that time, uh, I, I know you folks have been watching it. We got all the way down to uh, 131.60. Again, uh, more than $800 uh, move. And now we bounce back a, a little bit. And that was happening exactly at the same time that we were making the low in the crude oil. So this is exactly what you would be expecting. Uh, and so whether that's going to hold or not, you know, I'm not sure, but all I know is that that's, uh, that's what could happen. You want to watch it uh, very, very closely. Now, we had something else very, uh, very important happen today. If you are in the uh, gold and silver markets, uh, as you know, we've been watching these markets, uh, you know, quite a bit. 
And I, I wanted to just show you uh, last night in the gold market, we had a really beautiful Gartley pattern. Went right up to the uh, right down to the exact uh, level at 1322, and then of course what happened uh, just a little while ago we had a $1,200 rally uh, in the gold, and I want to put this in here to show you because this is something that you really got to pay attention to when you're in a downtrend like we are in these gold markets. You'll notice we made the ABCD pattern up there at 1333, and now we've come down. We dropped $1,100 uh, in a matter of a, uh, of a half an hour. That's not good uh, price action, folks. We've actually taken out the 1322 level. Uh, that really makes gold be pretty skeptical from the long side today. But it had every reason, you know, you had every reason to buy it at 1322. And of course, your your first profit objective would have been nine dollars, which you know is really spot on. Now, if we take a look uh, at the silver market, uh, we're going to see the same thing. Last night in silver. Um, I hate to do these in uh, history time, but we need to we need to get this. You notice we made a beautiful three drive, a uh, one three five pattern here uh, in silver uh, down here at this uh, eighteen uh, ninety nine nineteen hundred level. We rallied all the way up to nineteen uh, thirty nine. Uh, in fact, it was a little higher than that. We got up to about 19, yeah, right, right around 1939, uh, and then we've already backed down m more than 30 cents. And this is not good price action, folks. This is this is if you're bullish gold and silver, you know, you should be out of your trades at break even if you didn't take, uh, you know, partial profits, you know, like we suggest, because you know we don't know which trades are going to win and which trades are going to lose. If you remember, if you're going to risk, uh, you know, three hundred dollars on a trade and the trade gives you five hundred dollars, you're no longer risking three hundred dollars on that trade. You're risking eight hundred dollars. The three hundred, you know, the the five hundred dollars that you made plus the three hundred dollars that you're at risk. So that's not very smart. So what you have to do is to move your stop to break even, like we suggest, and then move on to the next one. Now this is what I'd like to give you an idea. Uh, since we're watching the S&P here, um, and we were trying to find this chart, and I finally did. You'll notice here we've been in a downtrend here. This is a 30-minute chart over the last five days. You know, we had a 38% retracement up there that we were able to see. That was also a 61% uh, retracement of the high from uh, September 9th. That was spot on there at 2155. We were able to, to see that. And now we've got uh, several ABCD patterns measuring down here uh, to 2086. Whether that'll hit there today or not, I'm not sure. We do know that we're in a bearish scenario. We're coming down, and we have the um, lunar eclipse and the new moon, which usually means a really good turning point. We've seen this over and over again. By the way, we're going to have Shane Smolian of WolfTrader.net on uh, at the break to give us some ideas of some of the transits that we're looking at, which will ho hopefully verify some of the things that we're that we're looking at in this area. This chart basically shows the resistance that we have at the 21, uh, 29 level. We had, we've been up to 21, uh, 25 so far this morning, uh, and then we've started to break down again because we are in a very steep downtrend in stocks. And as you know, we like to sell the rallies uh, when we're in a downtrend. 877-927-6648. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS as proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. We're back, folks, and I think we're having a little bit of technical difficulty uh, with posting the charts. Evidently, they, uh, they seem to be erratic sometimes. I don't know what's causing it, but uh, we'll try to get it fixed. Uh, if we possibly can. The next trade that we looked at yesterday, of course, was this corn trade. As you can see, we had three multiple cycles coming together at the same time uh, at this 327 level. We hit that level yesterday. We rallied uh, $350, which was into our first profit objective. Uh, should you be in this trade, the best way to handle this is just to put your stop at break even at 325, 327 and just let it go because now you're in a free trade and you don't have to, you know, worry about it. Much like, you know, if you did the Canadian dollar, that would have uh, worked out relatively well. Same thing here with the uh, crude oil. You want to watch that. Now, I know a lot of you uh, don't trade uh, inter uh, in the middle of the night like I, like we do, but uh, you know, we did have some really nice moves here uh, in in gold and silver, and, and crude oil started to work. And this is again another one that. If you were looking at the level we were watching, which was 43.40, we got down to 43.30. You know that's got you know well over a $600 profit in it right now. So you don't want to give that back. You just move your stop to break even, and uh, then you're you're home free. So you're in a risk-free position, which is the ideal place to do. One other thing I wanted to mention here is, folks, when you're if you watch the monitor all day long, you're really doing yourself a disservice. Uh, the reason why the monitor, and I got this from my good friend Mark Douglas. In fact, is the anniversary of his death was this week or last week, September the uh, 10th. But uh, if you watch the monitor, what you're doing is you're looking at a mirror, and anything that in, that that you have psychologically wrong with you is going to be in that mirror. And we we keep score with money in our business, and money is very emotional, as you know. And if prices are going up, you focus on the upticks. If prices are going down, you focus on the downticks. And that's if you're short. If you're long, you focus on the upticks. If you're short, you focus on the downticks. The reason why is because you want to get yourself disassociated from pain as easily as possible. It's like putting your hand on the stove. If you if you put your hand on a hot stove, you're going to pull it back really, really quick. It's the same thing in trading. You want to be out of those trades you know, that are going against you and hold the trades that are working for you. And believe me, looking at the monitor is not your friend. 
because uh, you you start to see things uh, you know with money and especially nowadays with the uh, trading platforms that they have that give you second to second uh, equity runs and you see it move um, you know thousands or hundreds of dollars in your favor and you start realizing and how much money that is and what you can buy with it then you're in big trouble and so if you the best way to do it put the order in put your alert on to let you know when it hits your first profit objective and then go back, you know, finish the trade, uh, you know, change the stop and then move on. And, and that allows you to look at other things, too. You can study while you're doing this. Uh, I, you know, I, I know you're not going to listen to me, but <laughs> I have to get on my soapbox once in a while, you know, to uh, try to help you out here. But believe me, that that monitor is is certainly not uh, it's certainly not your friend. Those of you that have visited me here in Tucson know that my monitors are set to turn off at 15 minutes. So I have large monitors here, 42-inch monitors, and they turn off in 15 minutes because I don't want to. I don't want to watch them because I've already prepared what I want to do. And uh, if that doesn't work, then I move on, you know, to the next one. I check them if a, if an alert goes on. Then I will go like when the alert, when we hit 11.32, excuse me, 13.32 in the gold, you know, that was the 78% uh, retracement of the rally. You had to be a, absolutely a magician to get a short sale off with that because it dropped $5 in a matter of seconds, which was telling you that it wanted to go a whole lot lower. And, of course, it's broken, uh, you know, broken down since that level. So these are things that you need to do. But, you know, the monitor, staring at that monitor is certainly not going to uh, – you know, and you're right. When large monitors like this, you can get sunburn. Believe me, they are very, very bright. I use dark screens with the larger monitors. That that to tones it down quite a bit. Uh, but most of the time, when I'm on my laptop, you know, I'll use uh, I'll use a white screen because it's uh, easier to see the uh, things that we're looking at here. Okay, let's move on here because we've got a couple of other charts. Uh, that we're looking at. So if you do, uh, if you did the corn, what you want to be able to do now is to put your stop at break even, and you would have a uh, a free trade, uh, and that's really you know what we're what we're trying to do. If we switch over to the currencies a little bit, we were, this is another one that we were watching uh, yesterday, which was the uh, British pound. This is an update of the one we were looking at. As you know, we were looking for. A uh, buy here in the British pound around 131.60. As you can see here, last night we rallied up into the uh, we rallied 100 pips, which is a little over $750 to the 132.50 level. And here again, uh, even after it hit that level, which was your last your first profit objective equal to the last move, of course. And then we've come down to the 132 level. So your first profit objective would be made, and now you put your stop at your break-even point. So you're in a you know in a risk-free environment, and that's that's really what we try to to get to. It's not how much money you make, folks. It's how much money you don't lose, because winners think how much money they can lose, and losers think how much money they can win. And that's why Las Vegas has all of these wonderful. Uh, slot machines and keynote things and uh, all the other games that they have trying to entice you about how much money you can win. Nowhere on those slot machines does it ever tell you you have no chance of beating me over a long term, and I've taken in $1.2 million more than I've given out. You're not going to see that on a slot machine. But that's different than what we have here. Here we have a situation where we're able to you know, really uh, control our risk, and that's what we're looking at. Now, we're having an interesting thing happening here uh, in the bonds. Uh, yesterday, we posted this particular chart, which was the four-hour chart of the Treasury bonds. We went right down to a perfect uh, number. We were looking at that 165 level. The low was 164.22. Uh, we rallied $2,000 from, from there last night. And now what we've done is went all the way back to the 165 level one more time. It's very important that we hold the 164.20 uh, level in the uh, December Treasury bonds. Because if we don't, you know, then we're looking at a market that's going to go a lot lower. As you can see from this chart, over the uh, over the whole month of August, it gave us many great uh, possibilities of trading. You can see the 61% retracement at swing one, and again at swing three, and again at swing five. I mean, those were all that were were relatively easy, 
easy trades uh, to look at that we've been watching as we as we go through here each day, you know, watching some of these. So just keep in mind that uh, if we break below that 164.20 level in the Treasury bonds, that is not going to be a, uh, a happy thing for bonds. You know, that's really uh, that's going to be very, very negative, you know, from uh, from that particular uh, point of view uh, of, of watching these things. So just keep in mind, uh, those are the, you know, the things that we're watching in the bonds and also in, in stocks, the S&P, uh, if we get above, uh, it, well, if should we get above 2129 today, uh, that would tell us that this scenario that I'm looking at in the S&P is certainly, is certainly uh, wrong, but I, I would not, uh, I would not count that until we until we get above that. It looks like we're going lower, folks. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.net. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we have Shane Smolian from WolfTrader.net on the line. Shane, how are you this morning? Uh-oh. Looks like there's a problem. And Can you hear me? In, hey, there we go. No trouble in River City. We're ready to go. We've got your first uh, uh, chart up with uh, Janet yelling, pulling on the bear. <laughs> I, love these, yeah. I love these cartoons. Do you make these yourself? 
I do actually. I, wow, I it's, not, it's nothing spectacular. It's just copy and paste in uh, Microsoft Word. Wow. But I, I think this tells the picture of what's going on right now for sure. Go ahead, buddy. You've got the you've got the mic. All right. So what we've been seeing here is an interesting tug of war uh, between the Fed and between these you know this market that is extreme showing extreme instability instability right now, and. I think tug of war is the correct word because we saw the market break in this, this very big day down and then we saw an incredible snap back up and then it went back down again. So we're seeing these two forces, these two incredible forces going back and forth and it's making a, for a very choppy, jerky motion in the markets. It certainly is that way. There's no question about that. Yeah. So I think that going forward here, uh, just as a general outlook here, um, probably will be bottoming in the next day or two and we have incredibly positive fed forces from a seasonal standpoint uh, remember i showed last time on the show that we have these positive fed seasonals going into the end of the quarter and that's going to push us up and we also have positive transits going into about the 26 so i think probably then the next it could go down for a couple more days but it's probably going to start working its way back up now in the next uh probably the next 10 days Shane, we've got a question from someone in the den. Uh, is there a limit to the amount of Fed juice they can pump into this thing? I've, that's a great question. And before I would have told you, they used, they used to run it between very specific bounds during quantitative easing. And then when we were out of quantitative easing, they would keep it in a lower limit. And what they've done since is they've broken all of those previous rules and we're pushing towards, we're, we're higher than any, any peak we've been in, in quantitative easing. So it makes it makes very for a very difficult forecast because you get these incredible you get to move down and then it'll go right back up and then it tries to go down and go right back up and then yesterday we saw that it was very choppy action in the market because we've got this just incredible battle going on between the two okay do you want to move on to the next chart sure everybody's going to love this one my friend i can promise you this i've never seen so much uh uh tv coverage over elections and anything that we've done so a fire away all right, so this is the real clear politics polling data for Hillary Clinton. I've erased Donald Trump's in the red just to make it more clear. But we can see that the market follows or the, or the, or the polls follow the market. And on the on label A on the left-hand side, you can see that's the bottom there in October 2015. And then it comes up and comes back. And then when we had that decline going from uh, C to D, that was the January decline. Hillary's numbers fell, and she's the incumbent party. So this is why I'm tracking her. And then from D to E, when we had the rally, it went up, and 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 it tracks. You know, it, her popularity or pulling data tracks the market. So from I to J, you can see we had that recent fall off, and the market and and her polling numbers have fallen off now. She's only 2.2 or 2.3 ahead of Trump now with all of the polling data averaged in. And this is why I like the real clear politics because they average in it's like 50 polls they average in so this is the best thing that you can look at as far as i'm concerned if you want a clear picture of the, the polling data wow <laughs> it's hard to believe that uh that it tracks so well but my goodness it, it really does have a lot of correlation doesn't it it does and you know you can see after the brexit if you look at label h uh with the market rallied very strong and and her polling numbers struggled so again, she's very weak in terms of this this correlation. So if the market drops even a little more, she's going to have problems. I mean, it, Trump's going to surge past her. But the problem in terms of forecasting that is that the Federal Reserve, Janet Yellen, is a big Democrat. And Trump came out the other day and, cr and criticized Yellen and said she should be ashamed of herself. That was That was coincidentally the same day that we had that big bounce. So I think Yellen has an interest in keeping Clinton in office, and I think she's going to do everything in her power to rally this market. Yeah, well, makes sense to me. Okay, the next one we're going to take a look at uh, is the um, – <laughs> someone just made a comment. It's what the hell difference does it make? <laughs> some, <laughs> some people think that. I, it's probably about a, as good as a summary as you can get. We're looking at well, the New York uh, transits here. Well, well, I'll tell you. I'll answer that question. The difference is, is important because the status quo, the, the, the establishment, Republican or Democrat, is going to keep the Federal Reserve in power in, term, in doing what they're doing with the juicing. Donald Trump is a wild card, and we really don't know what he's going to do. And if he comes in and fires Yellen and changes the policy of the Federal Reserve, 
you're going to have a chaotic market. So in this particular election, it does make a difference. So because of what Trump is, he's an, he's an, a wild card outlier. Okay, so New York Transits, I, I started looking into this last week. Uh, I smoothed this out a little bit, but you can see going back to uh, on label A, this is in August, the market is below. And uh, it tracks the, – the transits have been tracking this beautifully, the New York Stock Exchange transits. And if you look from label D to E, it picked up that rally going up in the center of the chart. And then the pullback uh, from August 29th to September 1st from E to F, it picks that up. And then from F, this is September the 1st up to G, uh, September 7th, it picks that up. And then it actually picked up the decline. Now, I didn't have these transits – uh, in place until you know after the decline I was searching for new ways to look at the data but from G to H you could see it picked up the decline now normally I would focus more on the bullish side with these transits because of the Federal Reserve but that one day there was such an emotional reaction in the market to that speech that it slipped through the cracks and we had that big down day and then look at I the, the Monday bounce it picked up that bounce too and the market bounced with the transits. So this has been doing a very good job of tracking, and it also tracks it intraday, which I'm going to get into. If we get, if we have time, I have at the end of the charts here, I have some intraday trades that that you can see. Okay, now someone's asked uh, in the den, uh, what if, if you define what a transit is for those of the folks that don't know. So a transit is, it's the angle, the longitudinal angle that two planets make in the sky. So if you looked around in the sky and you made 360 degrees around and you started uh, with one point of zero degrees, let's say the moon was there, if another planet is 30 degrees away from that and if, if you're looking around in, in a circle, that would make it what we call a, a transit, it's a harmonic. There's certain key angles that the planets make. Some of them are positive, some of them are negative, and we give them a weight. And we add up hundreds of these. I mean, this chart is hundreds of those aspects. This is including the regular planets. This is including the hypothetical uranium planets. This is including asteroids. So we've included all types of data in here. So you're looking at the, literally a composite of hundreds and hundreds of planets and the angles they make. And then whatever the net is, it's like a tug of war, like which if it's more positive, you see more green or a peak. If it's more negative, you see more of a red. And these are basically days is what you're counting. It's just nothing more than a numerical date, correct? These are dates, words, and then it's yeah. actually intraday. It'll calculate it down to the minute or the hour. If we zoom in, we can keep seeing it down, which I'll show at the end. You can actually time this to the hour in the day. I've seen you do that before, for sure. Okay, now the next one we're going to take a look at here is the what we're expecting here. We're going to have a break here pretty quick, but let's just keep going. Oh, here's the break. We come back, we'll cover, we'll cover chart number three. Okay, Shane? Sounds good. Okay. If you're looking to discover a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new Market Safe Focus Commodity CD from Everbank. This five year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to six equally weighted commodities, including gold, silver, copper, nickel, soybeans, and sugar, in one powerful CD. With annual pricing caps of 50% per component, you could earn up to a 50% upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. Take advantage of this financial resource designed to grow with the times. The October 13th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. 
Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin, as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, we're back with Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.net, and we're looking at what we're looking at over the next few days, I assume. Yes. Can we go back to the transit chart, the one right before it, just real quick? I want to point something out on the, no, the one we that we can't do that. Yeah, can't. of course it's we can. It's a TFNN oh, rule. You can't go back. Oh no, no, we can do everything here at TFNN. Okay, we're on the transit chart with the SPY from yeah. uh, eight fifteen to nine fifteen. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead. I, I want to point something out here, just real quick to the viewers, that since we have the Fed involved here. The up moves are going to be – you should pay more attention to those and the transits. So if you look, you know, we from F to G, you can see – you see how the, we had a, a very strong up move from F to G on that chart. And we had the one big down move from G to H, and that was unusual. But look at from H to I. You see that little move up in the transits right there and how big of a move we got in the, in the actual market from H to I? So – and the reason that it's more sensitive to the upside is because the Fed is in there. And that's why the market – you know, if I, I was looking at your chart and the, the, the pat technical pattern looks beautiful, it looks like it's ready to go down. Any normal sane person that's looking at that chart says, this thing's ready to go down. But you've got this Fed in there, and then all of a sudden the market just stopped. So this is this – is, I just want to – you should look at it with a positive bias when you're looking at these transits. That's the only thing from that chart I wanted to point out. Just look at it with a positive okay. bias. Okay. And now we'll go on to the next one, which is the expecting bottom uh, between, um, I guess, between Friday, well, Friday to Monday, I guess. Yes. So um, when these transits bottom over the weekend, a lot of times what I like to do is I, I would I would anticipate that bottom beforehand. So it's bottoming across this weekend. So I would think by tomorrow we're probably making a bottom. And if this thing's already rallying by tomorrow, you can, you can assume that we're going to have a stronger rally into the following week. So this pushes up into uh, about the 23rd if, to the 26th. I think the 26th is when we have a lot of these positive trines. That's also the presidential debate. So I think you can expect this market to, to be trying to retrace back up through the good part of the next 10 days. And since the Fed is in there with these record numbers, you know, I would not be surprised if this thing challenges the highs again within the next 10 days. It's going to try to. Whether it does it or not, we'll see. But it's it's it's, it's probably going to try to get back up there. I remember in 1987, uh, uh, we bottomed uh, on the uh, 26th of September. We rallied into October the 2nd. And then from October 2nd to October 19th, 1987, we dropped 40% uh, uh, in the Dow during that crash. But we're not in that type of an environment yet because we're still in September. Let's take a look here uh, at the next one. And... Uh, We've got uh, plenty of time here, so we should be able to cover all this. This is the uh, the next chart, so fire away. Sure, and one thing I want to point out about September seasonals. Everybody points out what a horrible month September is, and we go back to you know the beginning of the Dow. But you got to look at this since 2009 when the Fed has started this, this juicing. 
And if you look at September through 2009, it's a relatively positive month. So the seasonals have shifted uh, in September, and we also have this new Fed seasonal, which is positive. So things are different because of the Fed. So keep that in mind that October is probably going to be much worse than what we're looking at now. Okay, so this chart here. So this is a question people have, well, how do I trade the transits? So I'm a big fan of intraday. I like intraday. Uh, all of our trades that we make are intraday because I like being in cash overnight because there's too much crazy stuff going on uh, between the, the close and the open. So what I like to do is compare the transits on the bottom there with a very simple technical indicator, which is a Bollinger Band on the top. And intraday, you will find that the trend, the, the dominant force is regression to the mean. Uh, it, on a daily time scale, stocks do trend. Okay, they do. But on the intraday, it's, you, you do much better playing these bounces and reversions. So on letter A there, you can see that the price had closed above the Bollinger Band. This is a 1.8 standard deviation on a 20-period moving average. And you can see it was at the top of the actual transit there. And this is the, I mean, it, it was an exact timing of this. It topped exactly. And then the market pulled back and to label B, you can see there. So that was a good play. And then if you go over to C, it hits that, that lower Bollinger Band. And I like to play these on the first touch of the Bollinger. I don't like it when it's walking down the Bollinger because you really don't know if it's going to keep going down. But at level C, it's that first tag. It bounces up to D, and then it starts rolling over down again. And if you go over to E on the chart, you can see that it, it, it had a pretty good move off the Bollinger, and then it came back and tagged it again. And the, the transits had bottomed and were rising, and you could have pulled a good trade out of that. So the key here is not blindly following these transits, but looking for a good setup intraday. And a good intraday setup is a reversion to the mean tactic by playing these Bollingers. So that so you want to get it on the first tag if it's near or at a Bollinger band. And then if, if it's a top, you look for the transits to be at a top. If it's a bottom, you look for the transits to be at a bottom. But these plays are very high probability, and I really like the outcome of this. And, if, and I tell people, you don't have to take the full ride of the transit. You can take two points out of these things and just get a high probability setup. Well, that certainly makes sense because intraday, you know, you can control your risk better because if you're overnight, <clears throat> uh, you have to use either an open stop or follow it overnight. No one likes to stay up <clears throat> all night. Okay, the last one that we're going to take a look at here is uh, is the last chart, and then we're going to try to get these other ones that you uh, that you want to show me on the day trading things. Oh no, this so is it. This this, this is oh, it. Oh good, this good. Was, okay, what yeah. we'll do is we've yeah. got two minutes. We got two minutes here to cover this, and then when you come back from the break, we want to let the folks know how we can reach you and stuff. So let's sure. go ahead with this chart. Okay, so this was a setup yesterday. I think the chart disappeared there. Uh oh, let's put it back up. No, no, no. Just a minute. I'm okay. uh, uh, not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but not the Okay, dullest. there it is. Go We're ahead. back. Okay, so this okay. is yesterday's setup. I really like this setup because, again, we have to get both of these at a peak. And they don't always agree. But when they're both at a peak, if you see label G there, the price had had kind of gone into this sideways consolidation, and it walked itself back up to that upper Bollinger Band. Now, this is a 30-minute time frame. I think this is ideal the ideal time frame for intraday uh, because it seems to yield the best outcomes. When we, when we do these intraday setups, it just seems over and over when we go on either side of this, this is the best one. But it hits this top Bollinger Band on G, and you can see the transits were topping exactly at 1230, and then it fell all the way into the evening, and the markets also fell into the evening. Now, normally I would have expected this to be a much larger return or much larger decline, uh, but again, we have this Fed in there doing all of these, you know, behind the scenes uh, actions and, and the market's having trouble going down. So I would advise people that if you want to trade this, look for these two to agree, uh, find your setup and maybe only look for two or three points out of these trades. You don't need to, to get much more out of it. They're high setup plays. I really like them. And I think by combining two, two different things, I mean, these are, these are completely independent, right? I mean, if you think about it. One of them is astrological transits. The other is a chart technical, and you're putting these two in agreement. I think that's a winning formula for trading. That sounds really good. We're going to have a break here in just a few minutes here, and uh, you know we'll be able to give them your uh, information. Now, I had one other question. Are you still believing the? What do you think is going to be the outcome astrologically uh, of the election? 
Well, it's definitely still unpredictable. I mean, they're talk. I, you know, <laughs> I I want to talk more when we get back, but I, 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 you know, it's crazy with Hillary's health right now. We'll we'll talk about that when we get back briefly. But her health definitely. The chart says her health is 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 in trouble. Okay, thanks a lot, my friend. We'll be yeah. right back. My name is Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability and host of The Trader's Ed Show, heard daily here at TFNN.com. On Wednesday, September 14th at 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a special one-hour event, The Ultimate Reversal Patterns. I'll teach subscribers how to identify and trade market tops and bottoms. You'll learn Tom DeMarc's TD Setup, TD Sequential, and TD Combo. Plus, I'll show you how to identify Gartley buy and sell patterns, which means you'll learn how to master the D point of any A to B equals CD pattern. More importantly, I'll teach you the most powerful pattern of all by price relative strength divergent pattern. These patterns work for stocks, for ETFs, future contracts, currencies, and these patterns work on every time frame. By signing up for Mastering Probability right now, you get the first month of my newsletter service for only $49, and that includes Wednesday's Ultimate Reversal Patterns webinar. This $49 offer is only good through September 14th, so act now. At only $49 for your first month, I guarantee this is an investment that you won't regret. For all the details of the upcoming workshop and reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFN.com now. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back with Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.net. Shane, how can the folks uh, – oh, we're going to finish the, the, the comment about Hillary, and then we can tell the folks how we can uh, reach you. Yeah, real briefly. So as a, as a general rule, if you want to know the outcome of the election, follow the market. That's the first thing I would tell you. If we rally back to new highs, Hillary's got a good chance to win. But the, the, her chart is is difficult, and I talked about this before. She does have health aspects in her chart, and they're, and they're serious. So the I mean, the question is, what would happen if she dropped out? I mean, it could, this thing could get chaotic. I mean, if she has to step down and they put somebody else in, I, I mean, we're not to that point yet. But her chart definitely indicates there's – the potential for a serious problem with the health right now. Well, it's certainly in the news. There's no question about that. Okay, how can the folks reach you, Shane? Okay, you can go to the website, www.wolftrader.net. There's an email sign up there. You can subscribe to a free update list. I'll send out some videos. Some I send some delayed information out. Or you can email me at shane at wolftrader.net. And there's a sign up there for the newsletter and for the full service. The newsletter now, I've included these transits, and 
you get some updates. You get a partial picture with the newsletter. It's not meant to be a daily service. But you will get the transits each week. You can look at these. So if you want to try to gauge based off the transits, you can do that. And then the full service is the Twitter service, and that is full-time commenting on the market. We put post all of our trades there live. And so you, if you trade the ES and you want real-time updates, we post extra charts. You get extra videos. You get extra emails throughout the day. That's really the full service. But the, but the newsletter is a good place to start if you want to just check out, hey, how do these transits work throughout the week? What are some overall pictures? What is the Fed doing on a on a month by month basis? It's a good place to start. Well, you'd have done incredibly well, so you can't knock success. And I think you've, uh, you know, being a young man like you are, you've got a really great uh, future uh, in the Thanks, business. Larry. We I had one other we have one other question uh, in the den. The fact that we have a uh, lunar eclipse and a uh, full moon uh, tomorrow at 3.05 uh, p.m. Eastern Time. Will that have, well, we've got to take a break here. Hey, thanks for joining us, buddy. We'll have you on in thanks, another Sarah. week or so. Okay. Bet. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.